Team Deathmatch. Stay wary. Pick your shots. G'day guys and welcome back to Aussie Gamer. Now on today's show I want to talk about Call of Duty World War 2. Now I don't know about you guys but I am pretty excited to see a return to the whole World War 2 era with uh, with boots on the ground. I think uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for me has been really disappointing. I don't actually enjoy the game so seeing uh, Call of Duty return to its roots is uh, is pretty awesome and, uh, and something that I am definitely looking forward to. But now if you don't know, the news has just broken that uh, the Call of Duty World War 2 will run at a, uh, a 4K resolution with high dynamic range on the Xbox One X. Now it's still a little bit unclear whether this is uh, specifically for the campaign mode uh, or what multiplayer may or may not be getting, you know. Will multiplayer, for example, run at uh, a full 4K? Will it be dynamic or, uh, you know, multiplayer could even just be 1080p60 for, for all we know with the campaign being 4K30. So who knows? So we will find out, no doubt, in a couple of weeks' time. So if you're like me and you have an Xbox One X on uh, on pre-order, then, uh, then this is exciting news, particularly if you are a fan of the Call of Duty series. Now this information comes to us courtesy of Windows Central and I'll have that link in the description down below and I believe that uh, there's also a link or a source reference there from them to Charlie Intel. So the guys over at Charlie Intel get all the, uh, the latest and greatest information when it comes to Call of Duty. So I'll make sure I've got both links in the description. If you want to go and have a, uh, a look at those, the, uh, the links will be down below. Now I guess one of the reasons this news is so exciting is because we haven't been getting a lot of information uh, when it comes to some of these titles that have marketing deals with Sony. So you know we haven't yet found out what uh, what the Xbox One X is going to be doing with a game like Destiny 2 and, uh, and we certainly haven't had any information from Activision themselves regarding Call of Duty World War 2. So, when something like this breaks for a game that has a marketing relationship with Sony, it's uh, it's pretty big news, particularly when we find out that the uh, the results are in many cases significantly better than the PlayStation 4 Pro. So there you go, guys. Look, I don't know uh, what you guys feel about this, but I think if you are going to invest in an Xbox One X then you do want to see really good versions of the games and uh, and not be held back by any particular system. Now, I felt the same way about the PlayStation 4 Pro versus the Xbox One S. You know, I, I'd hate to think that uh, that there are developers out there that are delivering delivering parity just to ensure that, um, you know, they appease all user bases at the same time. I think if you go and invest in one of these systems, you absolutely want the uh, the best quality that that system can deliver. Now, if the uh, the Xbox One X is capable of doing 4K 60 for Call of Duty World War II, then that's absolutely awesome. And you know what? I'll be a, a big fan of the PlayStation 4 Pro if uh, if they can turn around and, and deliver something that's even close to that. I think um, that'll be a good result for the PlayStation. But having said that, look, if the PlayStation 5 comes out in the future and it can do, you know, I don't know, 6K, 60 frames 120 frames per second then you know what all power to it i'm uh, i'm all for advancing technology and uh, and moving yeah, things in the right time. direction so i think uh, like i said if we go and pay astronomical amounts of money for these machines you want them to be able to deliver at its limit and um and the fact that activision aren't holding back call of duty world war ii and they are delivering 4k high dynamic range and and possibly even you know, 60 frames per second in uh, in multiplayer, which which I'm, I'm hoping is there because you know that's an expectation for first-person shooters. Then that's absolutely what I want, and I'm sure it's uh, it's absolutely what you guys want as well. So there you go, guys. Look, just a little bit of information about Call of Duty World War Two. It's uh, it's one of those Call of Duties that I'm looking forward to uh, to jumping back into. You know, I think the um, the last couple of Call of Duties really haven't felt like. Uh, Call of Duty Heartland, I think, for, for want of a better term, but it feels like um, the guys at Activision have kind of got the message, you know, we, we just want that, uh, that real authentic Call of Duty, and I'm hoping that Call of Duty World War II is exactly that. 
So there you go, guys. Look, just let me know what you think about this news from, um, from Windows Central and Charlie Intel. Um, are you excited for Call of Duty, uh, particularly if you're going to go and pick up an Xbox One X? Is this uh, another reason to, uh, to jump on the X bandwagon? If you're a PlayStation guy, knowing that uh, the Xbox One X will be getting the, uh, the better versions of these big multi-platform AAA titles, is that enough of a reason for you to jump on the X? You know, do you want the best version of Call of Duty that you can possibly get? And, uh, and is it something that uh, has you thinking, you know, do you want to pop back into the, the whole world of Microsoft and, uh, and Xbox? Anyway, guys, look, if you've liked today's video, please remember to hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, get involved in the comments via the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.